All right, this video is your pre-lab video for your mass percent of carbon in sodium hydrogen carbonate. So to start off, uh, the law of definite proportion states that a compound always contains two or more elements combined in a fixed ratio, meaning no matter how much of a compound you have, the proportion of the elements remains constant. So if I had a glass of water versus a vat of water versus an ocean full of water, the uh, relative um, amounts of hydrogen and oxygen um, are always the same. So in this experiment, you're going to determine the mass percent of carbon in sodium hydrogen carbonate, or sodium bicarbonate, um, which is baking soda. And you'll do that by reacting with completely with excess acetic acid, which is vinegar. So baking soda, vinegar, not the most dangerous chemicals. However, um, we're still going to be goggled up, and we're still going to be uh, careful. Um, make sure you're wearing closed toe shoes. Uh, the vigorous reaction will form sodium acetate, water, and carbon dioxide. While the first two products are important for other components of chemistry, uh, they're not really any relevant for this lab. Uh, we're mainly going to be focusing on the carbon dioxide. Now, since the carbons that are found in the acetate anions uh, remain within the solution that you're going to make, it's important to know that the carbon being released as carbon dioxide is from the hydrogen carbonate anion or the bicarbonate anion. Um, therefore, you can calculate the mass percent of carbon in the carbon dioxide that evolves from the reaction. Um, then you can determine the mass of carbon atoms. Uh, the percent of carbon in sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate can then be determined. So if I have a little flow chart down there, if I have the mass of the carbon dioxide that gets evolved, from the reaction, then I can determine the mass of carbon using the percent composition of carbon dioxide. Uh, once I have the mass of carbon, then I can determine the mass percent of carbon in the sodium hydrogen carbonate because the carbon that is in the carbon dioxide is that same carbon that's in the sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is the focus of the lab. So on the next slide, I have your procedure. We are going to make some changes to this procedure, but I do want you to write it down in its entirety right now on a separate sheet of paper, uh, and then I'll go over the changes that need to happen uh, tomorrow at the beginning of class. Okay, come in, be ready to go with this procedure, and um, like I said, we'll tweak it a little bit, and then we're going to get rolling.